single parents really suffer. And I want to say thank you to all of the single parents in the house today who decided to love their children, to raise their children, to not give up on their children. You see, it's so easy to give up. It's so easy to say, I can't take it anymore, and to throw in the towel. It's so easy when single mothers could give their children up for adoption. We do know that 70% of all African American children are born out of wedlock. And yet at the same time, the single mothers who are in the house today, the single fathers who are in the house today chose to keep their children. They didn't run down to the abortion court or to the abortion clinic and give their child up. And so you ought to be commended for going through the suffering with your children, not abusing them, not treating them in ways that are uncomely for raising a child. Many times, single mothers need help. And we ought to be, as a church, committed to lessening the strain on single parents. We're all here today, and we know who our single parents are among us. All of us ought to make a commitment to help out our single parents. And you know, single parents need help. They need somebody to come along beside them and say, I've got your back. I'll watch the children for you. If you need some financial help, call me. Some of us are well off. We do well in life. We can help others who can't help themselves. And so I want to call on the church today to remember the single parents in the house. Some have four or five kids. As I've looked around our church, some are burdened down with the cares of the world. But I want you to know today that God never forgets you. And finally, that's what the scripture says in Psalm 68 and 5. He gives us the assurance that God is the father of the fatherless. Those who don't have mother and father in their life can understand he's a father to the fatherless if you don't have a father. He's a mother to the motherless if you don't have a mother. Yeah, God is able to be whatever you need in your life. Oh, I'm a living witness. He's a father to the fatherless. Having grown up without a father, I never really missed my father until I was around 25, 26 years old. And it was on a Father's Day morning. And I realized I'd grown up without a daddy in my life on my way to the worship service and I got angry because it was Father's Day and I didn't have a father and I began to cry and blame God and say God why did you take my dad you knew I needed a dad to grow up with many of you've heard this story God spoke to me just like I'm speaking to y'all. And he said, I took your dad so I could be your daddy. And then he took me down memory's lane and allowed me to remember how he was there at every turn. Whenever I needed a man, God sent one by. I never missed going fishing, hunting, 
happened because there were men who knew I was a single uh, parent's child and said I'll spend some time with him. I had men who taught me how to take care of my car. Oh, yeah, I can work on a car, y'all. Yeah, I can, I can do it if I have to. Amen. I just draw blood every time I do, so I call the mechanic. Yeah, I can work on a house because there were men who taught me how to pay. Y'all hear what I'm saying today. Yeah, we must take time with the single children in our midst. And we must take time to help those single mothers and single fathers out who are struggling with their children. And God has made us a promise that he will be a father to the fatherless, a mother to the motherless. And he goes on to say he will be a defender of the widows. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of times women... You think you're in this thing all by yourself when you are a single mother. But I want to assure you today in the word of God, God has said that he will be your protector. He will be your defender. He will be your provider. You know, sometimes the world can get cruel on single mothers. Yeah, it'll take advantage of a woman who pulls a cop to a mechanic shop. Every single mother in the church ought to know some man in the church or some man somewhere that when you get ready to take your car to the shop, you get that man's advice. And if he don't know nothing, don't ask him. <laughs> ask the man who knows something. Yeah, it's a whole lot of men need some help. <laughs> But he says he will be, yeah, a protector of the widows. Yeah, folk can think they're getting away with mistreating single mothers if they want to. God is your protector. And sometimes you just need to learn to tell God on some situations. Learn to tell God on some folk. And God will make the difference. The scripture says, He's a protector of the widows. God is in his holy habitation. He brings us into his presence and he allows single parents to be blessed by how they worship him, by how they love him. And I think it's only, yeah, it's only important that we give tribute to single parents because, yeah, God is able to carry you through. Too often you lose hope and you can't see your way. Don't know how you're going to make it. But I want you to know that God is a God who never lets those who will worship him, who will praise him, who will come into his place of worship and say, I'm yours, Lord. Use me any kind of way you want to use me. And so I'm thankful to single parents. You could, you could get up on Sunday mornings and say, I don't, I'm tired, I'm weary. I'm not going to dress my child for church today. And as a matter of fact, I'm not going myself. But single parents who get up and bring their children to the house of the Lord, God say, I'm in the habitation. I'm dwelling there. And if I'm dwelling there, you better believe I'm going to take care of my own. How many of you know God really takes care of his own? And so those, in verse 6 it says, God's sets the solitary in families. And I'm going to close when I share this with you. So often God allows us in our families to become what we would appear to be desolate. Sometimes hardships come. Sometimes difficulties come. But God gives the desolate 
a place to dwell in. He'll always take care of his own. He'll always take care of single mothers, single parents, because you are favored by the Lord. Our whole Old Testament talks about taking care of the orphans and the widows. Yeah, matter of fact, that's one of the commandments that God gives, that we ought to make sure that the orphans and the are taken care of.